and welcome to my channel where I teach you how to improve your posture and help you to get out of pain with Feldenkrais exercises and some yoga too. Let's talk about crossing the legs. Now, crossing the legs out of habit, meaning every time you sit down, you cross the legs, it's not a good thing to do. However, I'm not going to tell you do not ever cross your legs because sometimes it feels good to cross the legs and it's okay as long as we do it safely. The tendency when we cross the legs is to collapse in the chest and sometimes tilt to the side. Now this is, this is a very awkward position for the body, the internal organs are under stress, they are put out of their optimal place, uh, there is rest restriction of blood supply uh, and the internal organs are squashed. Um, all of this means that the internal organs cannot do their uh, job properly. That includes the heart, the lungs. I can't breathe um, freely when I'm in this position. Now, um, crossing the legs also twists the uh, pelvis. Now, um, there is a safer way of, uh, or there is a way that we can protect the body or keep the body safer when you cross the legs. And that is um, the same thing as when we sit down. If you haven't watched my video about the sitting bones, then please watch it because uh, um, you need to understand your sitting bones and what they do to keep your back safe, to um, keep away from back problems and of course to look good with good posture. So when we, we sit down, whether we have cross legs on or not, uh, the first thing to do is to connect with the sitting bones. So you want the weight of the board, the torso nicely in both of the sitting bones. That will help you to keep the torso upright and your head nicely sitting on top of the spine. So um, this will keep your um, organs safe uh, and your spine safe as well when you sit on your sitting bones and with your torso upright. Um, the other thing when it comes to crossing the legs is that we forget that we have the other side of the body that can do some work as well. So remind yourself to cross the other way as well so that you distribute the strain that it always be there when we cross the legs, especially in the pelvis. Um, so get into the habit to cross the other way as well. The other thing you can do is also to cross the ankles instead one way or the other way. So this is how you're going to keep your back safe and the internal organs in their place to do their job when you cross your legs by keeping your torso upright and sitting right on your sitting bones. And this is all I wanted to tell you about crossing the legs. And if you want to know more about good posture, how to go about life with good posture, to prevent a hunched back, to keep away from back problems, and of course, the side effect of good posture is to look good, have a look at my posture master class. And if you have children and you want to introduce good partial habits to them and you don't know where to start, what to do, this is also covered in my posture master class. I'll leave a link below. Thank you for watching and don't forget to drink water wherever you do. Bye-bye now. Cheers.